Hi, this is Trey Pastor. Um, I just wanted to make this quick video, sort of a, pl a plea, I guess. Um, if you watch my channel today, you see that I put up two videos today, and I didn't have my intro that I usually have, because um, I explained this in my channel plans for 2014, that um, I was using a website called abnomato.com. You know, you could basically make videos, you know, you join, and you can use you know the graphics and the songs to uh, make you know, like, a, like a video entry or something for your channel and stuff. And I used that starting 2012, I believe. Um, and I used it, and then for the longest time, you know, I was good until sometime last year I discovered that, of course, I started getting these copyright notices from YouTube saying that the music has been belongs to another, you know, somebody else, and and you could dispute it. Or whatever, so and I for the longest time I, like, I kind of ignored it, which is like my totally my fault. And then I start you know, I responded to a few of them, and then I kind of forgot about it. And then I looked for some reason a few months ago and I saw that there was a lot of video basically for most of the videos that I did, did. You know, you see these copyright notices on it saying that you know, you now even you know, and you go to the website, I'm on a motto, and they tell you on the website. That this say these you, you give you, they give you these three lines that you're supposed to respond with to um, YouTube and tell them that you know you have a license to use you know as a member you can use you know use the music you know in your videos on YouTube and stuff and then usually they dismiss the claim and stuff you know they you know you can dispute it and then usually they dismiss it but it seems like they're slowly doing it slowly but surely you know, and I spent I think like uh, three hours just going through all the copyright notices that I had to, you know, to dispute them. And of course, most of them came back, you know, being dismissed. But it seems like, and I even did some, like, uh, in December, and it, I only saw a few there, but I see now slowly, but you, and I got a bunch of dismissals uh, early last week, and then now it seems like I'm kind of getting them in drips and drabs, you know, for, you know, you know the notices and stuff, and it seems like it's probably going to go on probably for the next month or so I'm, I'm hoping that uh, that it ends but I just figure now I'm just gonna stop using the animato.com because I figured even after from my old videos and I used a particular song on that that I got from the animato website com website that um once those videos but then I, I like I said I, I made another intro that I think you probably saw the one with the candle and the fireplace thing, I made, I made that, and I think I got one copyright notice on that, but it seems like they're coming slowly but surely, and who knows if they're going to give me uh, copyright notice for those, and even the new one that I got, I had made, you know, where where it's like New York City in the background, they may even, they haven't done that one yet, but I'm not going to take a chance with it anymore, so I'm going to quit using um, on the motto, I think it's dot com. So I'm quit using them because it makes no sense. Because you figure, and I don't know how to respond or send him, or maybe somebody can tell me how to send YouTube a message, but I don't know if they respond and tell them, listen, I got this license since I'm part of this, so why you keep sending me? But I don't think it's them so much, but I think it's on, on the dot com. They automatically send, they maybe have even somebody monitoring uh, YouTube, and then whenever they hear something, they just they shoot off a uh, a claim to them automatically, which I think is probably part of the problem. Okay, so I don't, but I, you know, to me it makes no sense why would they send, you know, why do you keep doing that back and forth when they could easily just check and just say, okay, he's part of, you know, our website, so we're not going to flag anything from them because it makes no sense. It's, it's their own rules that you're part of, so you can use it, but I'm not going to, I'm going to leave them alone. And that, so what I'm asking, actually, in a roundabout way, when I went through this long explanation, is um, if somebody out there in YouTube land, any you know, one of my subscribers or anybody that's watching this video, if you if you feel if you want to make me like a 30 second intro for my channel, I would greatly appreciate. It. Or if you don't have want to do that, just maybe even PM me and this you know if you can give me maybe like instructions on how to do it, or maybe there's a, a website that I can go to that I can make instruction, and I can make my own intro, and um, so I don't have to deal with them no more, and then hopefully. In a couple of months, maybe I can get back in good standing and I can make longer videos. Because, like I said, I don't mind about the uh, 
because in a way the 15 minute limit to me is good for the most part because I'll ramble on if I talk too much but in, in, in one other way it's bad because I want to like, do a, a, a video on my uh, collection which I, I want to do but if I had more time it'd be, it would be better but as it is I'm probably going to have to break it up into maybe six or seven parts and maybe eight even but no matter if I have to do that I'll just, I'll just do that but in the meantime if somebody could, you know would, could make me an intro I would greatly really greatly appreciate it give you a proper shout out and and be forever grateful <laughs> if you could uh somebody can do that or like I say even just you know PM me like the instructions on a website that I can go to and get one made or something you know just even that w information would help okay so and I also have somebody that um, actually made one for me. His name is Julius Frost Darko. He did make one for me, and I had for the longest time, but I didn't know how to figure out how to um, convert it to Windows Media, but I finally did. So I sent him a PM, so I'm hoping, but he hasn't been on YouTube for a while because he made me an intro, like a 36-second intro, which I think might be safe, but I don't know if it's the music. It's copyright. He sampled it for something else or... Or if he um, made it up himself, that's why I sent him a PM. So if he responds to me, I'll use his intro and give him a, a real proper shout out. But it's a nice intro. It tells all about my channel and it's basically just music and and graphics flying back and forth and a little bit pictures of me, which I think is really good and really professional. And but like I said, I checked his channel, but I didn't see any activity for a couple of months on this channel. So I don't know if he's still making videos or not. He may have quit. But we'll see if he responds. All and then I'll. I'll start using his intro, intro that he made for me. But anyway, if I any help I, I would get from anybody, we greatly appreciate it. And again, thank you. And I'm sorry for rambling and, you know, having to explain myself about this intro thing. But in the meantime, like I said, I'm not, not going to use any intro on my channel until I, like I said, unless I hear from Julius Frost Donko about his thing. If he tells me, yeah, that's, don't worry, that's not copyright. That's something I made up myself. Or, um, you know, if, like I said, I'm not going to screw around with Aminamato anymore because it's, that's like one headache that I, I didn't need. And like I said, I, if I'd been paying more attention to my channel, I would have noticed it that way back. But that's what under the bridge. So anyway, I just wanted to make this quick video let anybody know. So if I can get any help from anybody, I'd be greatly, greatly appreciate it. Again, this is Trey Faster saying so long and take care.